Hello, my lovelies, and happy Valentine's Day to those who celebrate. My name is Aruba Chan, and today I'm kind of doing something in a completely new style that I don't think anybody's seen me draw in, really. Um, I've been doing a lot of kind of art searching and soul searching, and I wanted to do a lot more with my art than I've been doing, and I've had quite the art block, or the creative art block, uh, as many of you who have been watching a few of my videos are kind of aware. So I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of different things to try to remedy this art block, and the past few videos have kind of been sort of a diary of sorts on what I've been doing and kind of the styles that I've been working in and this is today's style and this is sort of a chibi anime uh, kawaii kind of look. This is very, very, uh, a very cute style that I, I've seen a lot of artists work in and I, I genuinely wanted to try it. Now this is a very, it's a very hard style to imitate, I suppose, um, especially if you're not working from anything. Like I'm working from uh, several artists that I did drawings of, like from of their style and uh, I'm kind of meshing them into my own kind of ideas and my own style. So that that's uh, an example of one of the things that I've kind of been doing. But I have a few steps that I've written down and the first one is experiment with styles. Now, a lot of my other styles were like more painting and more, you know, animals. And I really do enjoy that stuff. That stuff's very, very easy for me, very easy on me. And I'm not pushing myself too hard to create something that I'm actually enjoying. So I'm actually having a lot of fun with doing a lot of these different styles. And in doing this, I am going to find something that I am more comfortable with and something I'm more motivated to draw than my normal style. And that actually leads into something else. So I do a lot of digital stuff, but I also do a lot of traditional stuff, which I am working on something for you guys coming up, which I'm hoping is going to be really cool. But I definitely think... Um, Doing more painting kind of things in real life has definitely helped me out a lot in kind of the color and just base of everything. I, I kind of, I've got more of an understanding of how painting and and drawing and all of that kind of stuff works in the real life. So I have a little bit more of a knowledge of it in the digital world and how much I can, you know, fix stuff on my own and I don't have to rely so much on all of my tools to do stuff the right the first time I can just do stuff right. Oh, <laughs> uh, also, I know a lot of people point out this and you can't really see it, but all of my lines for my work, I have to go back in and I have to fix the edges because for whatever reason, the tolerance on my fill bucket doesn't ever go up, no matter how high I put it. So I always have to go in and fix the outer, you know, outer lines. Um, my third kind of tip is don't work too hard because a lot of the times you're trying to work towards a style and or drawing technique that you have been doing for so long that your body is either fatigued or your brain is just tired of it. I can know for a fact that I've been drawing with my style for years, probably since I was in high school, and I should have graduated college in 2017, so that gives you a little bit of a time frame. Uh, I, I don't know, it, it, I, I still like my old style, and I still enjoy the kind of stuff that I, you know, I drew, but I'm just tired of it, and I don't want to work and force myself to keep drawing in that style, and I genuinely don't. I don't now. I take it easy on myself, and I let myself experiment with new styles, and I kind of, if I'm not feeling it that day, I just, you know, I take a break. And that's kind of the next step, is I, I allow myself to give up on a piece. And this isn't 100% you know, you're, you're gonna improve so fast with this. It's not that. And I know a lot of artists say, never give up. And 
believe in yourself but honestly i'm such i'm such like for the if you're not feeling it don't do it and this is a good way to let your body know that you're not you know you're ready to take a break even if it's only like a 20 minute break take a break but for me a lot of the times i get tired of how my art looks so i'll take a break and i will redraw something else or i'll I'll draw something new and i don't really mind doing that kind of stuff because i've got a billion ideas in my head and why do i have to be you know suffocating in the same old ones that i've been doing for years years and years so i allow myself to give up on a piece that i you know fundamentally and or artistically don't find appealing anymore and i feel like everybody should allow themselves the freedom to do what they want and or give up on what they want and i'm not saying give up on it forever if it's an idea that you genuinely do like like if it's a comic or if it's an animation just take a break from it take a break from it until you feel like you're in a better head zone or you know go get some dinner or a glass of water or whatever you need and then try to look at it with a clear point of view and if this doesn't work just be okay with giving it a break my next one is to draw with other people and this doesn't have to be the people who draw you know super great or even in the same style as you for me i have a bunch of friends who have a lot of different variants in art style and this includes uh an artist who he doesn't really do abstract art but he does a lot of geometric shapes and I am more of an anime artist so when I draw with him I don't have to really think about how does a human body have to look and what kind of clothes do I need to design all I need to think about is I'm going to draw a circle here and I'm going to make teardrops here and I kind of get to borrow their style for the amount of time that I'm drawing with them and it's, it's a fun and easy way to stay in the mindset of drawing. You don't have to draw something amazing to draw every single day. I think that's one of the biggest things that I, I never learned from an artist is they always say draw every single day, but they don't explain that drawing every single day means drawing something bad when you're feeling bad and, you know, doing a, a doodle that is so small that it shouldn't even matter just if you draw once a day draw and i know that's kind of redundant you should draw at least once a day even if it's something small or even if it's you know something bad or something ugly if you hate it you drew you kept yourself in the mindset of drawing and keep it easy for yourself you don't have to do something that stresses you out. For me, I draw little animals, like little stuffed animals, when I feel like I am too stressed out to draw normal stuff. Now, right now, I feel more okay with drawing kind of anime stuff, so I am doing a full anime picture, but even then, it's in a chibi style, and I'm fully lining everything on my own. You don't have any smoothers or anything for the lines. So I'm I'm doing everything by hand. And I'm I'm actually okay with doing that kind of level. But if it had been a normal picture, I would have been very stressed out. And I would think the lines don't look good here. And these need to be more, you know, small. Like, I can characterize the lines in this because it's easy for me. And it's not... It's not so stressful. It doesn't have to look perfect because it's so stylized. And I definitely think that helps a lot when I when I try to draw stuff because I, I expect things to be so perfect with all of my drawings that I don't I don't let myself draw stuff that's bad or uh, out of my comfort zone because I'm just so used to how I draw. Um, my next tip, if you guys are also going through the same kind of thing, it's not, you know, not give up again uh it's practice so a lot of people were saying in my last video that when they have art block they just do stuff that they are in need of fixing so for me i need to do a lot of backgrounds and so i took it upon myself to get my watercolors out and 
I painted a ton of backgrounds. Like, I, I did this fun thing that I do with a few of my friends where you have one minute, one minute exactly, to paint a background. And we had references and there were photos and they all, they all come out very bad, but they give you more of an idea on how things are supposed to go than say if you had spent two plus hours on a background. You have a set time limit to actually work on this item and once you're done, you're done. You don't have to keep going, you don't have to continue, you can just put it behind you knowing that you have gotten a little bit of practice in. This is what I meant by it doesn't have to be good and it can be ugly, is you you let yourself do stuff that's not amazing. Let yourself, allow yourself the chance to do things that aren't great because chances are you're going to make something that might not be great fundamentally or, you know, aesthetically, but you're going to figure something out based on what you drew. My next tip is to search out new inspiration. So there's a lot of different websites where you can do this on. You can do this on Tumblr. You can do this on YouTube. You can do this on DeviantArt. You can do this on Pinterest. For me, I look at a lot of stuff on Tumblr. So I just added a whole bunch of new artists to my feed. And I genuinely like will go and search, you know, kawaii artists or um, anime art or, you know, hipster art like I will go and I will find all of the art that I feel like I like and I'll go through their follows because most of the time they follow things that inspire them and I will follow all of the things that inspire them that I like and if I find another artist that I like I'll do the same thing so I'll have a lot of their context for their drawings and their art And I will have their art so I can kind of see their process. So I actually, I followed a lot of blogs that do kind of backgrounds and cities. And it's like photography. So I can genuinely just get stock photos and use those as references if I ever want to paint something. And that's very, that's very nice for me. I I, Having more to work with definitely gets you a better kind of mindset and more, you know, frame of mind to have drawings. I know for me, I, I could have looked at a bunch of different things to kind of make this character, but I only looked at a few. And even then, I didn't take very much inspiration other than kind of the fact that I wanted to draw chibi. Uh, I definitely think also another tip is working a different sized canvas. So for me, I usually work in, you know, very small, like I usually, I usually do a thousand by a thousand, but I think this one was about 5,000 by something, um, because I, I took a picture of my sketch and brought it into Photoshop and then did everything to it. So I worked huge compared to what I usually do. And honestly, it wasn't bad. I actually was enjoying working fairly large because I had more control over my lines. Like, I know a lot of people say I need to work on my line work and, you know, my lines are usually very bumpy, but with this, I can work with thicker lines so it's not as visible. And I think that's really nice. It worked really well for me and I genuinely, like, enjoyed doing this. And I definitely think... This helped me a lot. I don't think I'm quite out of the woods just yet. I think I still got a lot of, you know, inspiration and kind of things to get over before I've completely moved out of an art block. But I definitely think that since my art block started, I've definitely gotten a lot more technical. I've gotten, you know, I've challenged myself a bit more because I want to keep creating things and I have to keep creating things. So I continue to draw and I continue to find inspiration and I continue to move forward. And that's all you can really do. I'm sorry, my voice is a little warbly. That's all you can really do. And I definitely think if this is something that you're going through right now, maybe follow these steps 
and see if any of these help. Like, I know finding new inspiration has helped me a lot. And I know for a fact that, you know, talking about artists with other people and drawing with other people and, you know, just genuinely interacting with other artists helps me a lot. And I definitely think, if you're interested, I've got a Discord for that. So now we go into the, the fun part. So if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you like me, please subscribe. Also, join my Discord. We are very nice here and we all have tons of fun. Alright, thank you guys so much. Happy Valentine's Day and goodbye!